Okay, today we're not on the Enterprise, but just in my regular studio area with all my nerdy stuff, which ironically doesn't have any Star Trek in it, just a lot of Doctor Who, some Star Wars, but you know, it fits. So if you watch my previous video, you know that in October I was just all over my Star Trek costumes for Halloween, and I did finish them. The first part of the video you can watch somewhere in the screen here, probably. And it was all about making a Kirk sweater for my husband, who was Kirk for Halloween. And I, I actually decided to knit that sweater. But for my costume, obviously, I had to make a couple's costume that matched his. So I was going to be Uhura or just like a red engineering costume from the Star Trek, uh, the original series. That's what I did. And it didn't make sense to knit that one just because it's a little more, it's like a dress. So it didn't make as much sense and it would take longer. So instead I decided to sew it. And that was a really fun adventure. It was like hard and easy at the same time, if that makes any sense. Really the construction of the dress was really simple, but I was working with knit fabric for the first time, which was interesting. Uh, in the end, it turned out really great and really short. You know, if you've ever seen the original series, those dresses that the women wore were really short they're still wearing tights underneath so i wore those too and i actually made myself a pair of shorts uh or hot pants as they call it to wear under the scant because yeah yeah no definitely very freaking short i think it was perfect for halloween i like the result of this costume so much that i decided to leave it on my dress form indefinitely and it's just sitting there uh in the other side of my studio and i just i love looking at it it looks so great it really it really worked out. Even though it has a few mistakes, a few things that could have been better. For a Halloween costume, it totally works. So let me walk you through what I went through to create this Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek The Original Series costume. Here is the pattern and fabric. I made size 910, which is the second on the list. And the fabric is a red knit from my neighborhood's fabric store. It was my first time working with a knit fabric and I did a lot of tracing even though it's not very visible in the camera. This dress has a lot of interesting pieces as you'll see as they are assembled in an unexpected way. The first step is at the front, joining these two pieces in a sharp L. Like I said, I was learning as I went to work with knit fabric so it was kind of a slow process at first. A third front piece is joined in an angle. The way that this is constructed helps create both darts that shape the dress and a visible design on the front. The next piece is also part of the front, it includes the other sleeve. Now I'm moving to the back. First I had to base the zipper onto the first piece and then onto the second piece. They were sewn in, but I didn't film that. There's a third piece, just like on the front, that needs to be sewn in place. And finally, the sleeve for the back. At this point, I have the front and the back completed and basically all the side seams on the sleeves and the body have to be sewn in. So it goes all around from one sleeve to the next, just not sewing in the neck and the bottom of course. I continued with the black detail that's gonna go on the neck that I hadn't cut for some reason, so here it is. This was simply folded in half and fused with some interface and then sewn in place at the neckline. I continue by doing a simple roll hem and of course sewing in place the patch at the front of the dress, which I got on Etsy. Like I said, she's gonna be sitting on my dress form indefinitely. One little thing to call out, this was the right patch. I actually accidentally put that patch on the other Star Trek sweater uniform and I had bought the right ones but I guess in just the frenzy of it all 
I didn't pay attention and I used the wrong patch. I just undid the stitches and put it on the right one and it ended up fine. But anyway, here it is. I really love that the details of the dress are really there. Um, like the floppy neckline and um, the fact that it has like a panel covering on the front. It, it was kind of hard actually to find the right pattern because you would think that there would be a lot of them but weirdly enough there weren't. There were some commercial ones that looked very, eh, you know, like just a red dress basically, uh, not a lot of detail in it. And this was actually the Roddenberry or, or official pattern that was discontinued sometime in the mid 2000s and it was actually out of stock. So I reached out to the person who I posted and asked if they had more and she, she did have more and restocked it. So that saved me uh, and it cost a pretty penny for a pattern, but it was worth it I think because uh, it came with a lot of sizes and it had all the details. The only thing I didn't like is that you, you couldn't adjust the length. The length for every size was the same, which is crazy. Like it doesn't matter your, your size, it had the same length. But thankfully it was like long enough that I didn't feel completely naked, so it worked. I almost went for like a velvety uh, type of fabric, but I just thought it was too costumey. Um, now I maybe think that it would have been better because it's a little bit more, it's a little thicker, a little bit more stiff, so it would have helped with like this flappiness on the front, but all in all it looked good enough for a costume. Yes, I am missing the rank on the sleeves. I just ran out of time and um, I didn't want to spend like an extra $10 to buy it on Etsy. I think I'm just going to add that some other time because I am definitely rewearing this for a Comic Con or just another Halloween or who knows, I have it now. Thank you so much for watching and following my crazy sewing knitting adventures uh, and thank you for your patience on watching these videos that sometimes take me a little bit a while to get done, you know, life gets in between. It is what it is. I definitely have other geeky stuff in my mind now that I know that people actually enjoy watching this crazy geeky costumes slash makes. So more coming up and again thanks for watching. Happy making!